Now, if you are looking for insanely cheap NBA Live mobile coins, hit up NBA 2K Ing, use code BUCK, you get 5% off. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cool. What's going on, YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video, and as promised, I'm going to bring you guys some new Dario Saric gameplay. Now, if you haven't seen my new NBA Awards All-Rookie Pack opening, definitely go check that out after this video. I'm going to leave it at the end, so you can just click on it, and it'll take you straight there. If you are a new viewer to the channel, definitely subscribe. Now, in the last video we did earlier today, I completed this new 99 Dario Saric, and he brought my small ball up to a 99, which is very nice. Very nice. So now let's run through his stats before we do some gameplay. This dude's a power forward with 99 speed, 97 dribbling, 86 three pointer, 91 shooting, 92 defense, and 91 passing. This is insane stats for power forward. Dribbling speed. So he's definitely going to easily get around a defender to get into that paint. Now with this card, like with uh with power forwards and centers that can shoot. Like, they're very essential because they're tall, so they can shoot over the defenders, the defenders, and then it'll go in. So, yep, with this gameplay, we're mostly going to be getting it into the paint. And also, this guy's a lefty, so we're definitely, I love shooting with lefties. I don't know, their flick is just a lot better. So, we're definitely going to be knocking down a three-point shot. So, we're going to be running through three head-to-head -head matches, and I am going to do the voiceover. Instead of just playing the music, I'm going to do the voiceover. So I can get you guys some live play-by-play. -play. So yep, let's hop into some gameplay and I'll be right back. Alright guys, now we're about to hop into this first head-to-head -head match. So like I said, we're going to be mostly getting it into the paint with this new Dario Saric. And I have to speed the gameplay up because it was lagging a lot. So the first shot we get is the mid-range shot. With that new Dario Saric, that is going to be literally the best shot you're going to get with him because he is tall and he does have 91 shooting which is really great for a power forward so um the thing i really hate about this game is that like it's really like tough to get defensive rebounds well it's not tough but like a lot of the times the other team gets the defensive like gets an offensive rebound and that's really annoying and like sometimes they keep getting it i know you guys i know a lot of you guys have problems with this too but yeah that's something that i really hate so um, the score is 4-2 right now. We get a steal right there. And all game, um, we try to get it to that Dario Sarge. Can we smack that three? Bam, look at that. Power forward that can knock down the three. Now, um, before I hopped into the gameplay, um, I was saying that I liked left-handed shooters. And um, yeah, left-handed shooters have the best looking flicks to me. And usually they can shoot better. Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, like in this game, I prefer using the left-handed shooters because, like, mostly it mostly goes in. So he gets that dunk with that 99 Shaq. We get a layup with that new Dario Saric. Now, like I said, this dude has insane speed—99 speed for a freaking power forward, which is crazy. It's unreal, completely unreal. So, like I said, we're gonna easily get around the defenders to um, get in the paint for a layup. So now. We're sitting there locking down Tracy McGrady. And can we get that block? No, we do not. So I really do not like playing against uh, teams that have players with the clutch ability because um, that's an easy point. And look at that. We lob it to Dario Saric, and then he gets the easy dunk right there. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. So let's see if we can lock them up. Um, we're currently winning 11-7. And um, you guys see it going fast now, but when I was actually doing the gameplay... It was going very slow. Can we knock down the three? Yes, we can. So we are two for two <clears throat> from beyond the arc. So yeah, um, the gameplay is fast now because I sped it up. But when I was actually doing the gameplay, it was extremely slow, extremely laggy. And that's what really messed me up in these head-to-head -head matches. So if I'm not doing very well in the head-to-head -head matches, that is because the gameplay is going extremely slow, extremely slow. So it makes it very hard. So I'm I'm obviously going to play better off camera, but I'm thinking about getting an Elgato, hoping that um it won't lag my game when I record, because whenever I record gameplay, it lags a lot. But like when I'm not recording, then it doesn't lag. 
So can we get the ball into the paint here? We're sitting there with his spin move, but we get blocked right there. We try to throw a lobber, but that goes completely wrong right there. So we're going to have to regroup here. We're going to have to regroup. We get a steal. Now let's see if we can take it all the way. Let's see, let's see if we can capitalize from that turnover. Oh, look at them dribble moves. Woo! And then we get a layup right there. He just crossed the mess out of Kevin Love. So if you guys don't know how to do dribble moves like that, basically you want to double tap the guard button and then just hold it. And then you can, um, I mean the drive button, not the guard button. Like if you double tap the um, drive button and then just hold it, then um, your player will sit there and do dribble moves. So yeah, we going for an easy dunk during that possession. And we get another steal. Let's see if we can take it in. Oh, we get blocked. And somehow that is out on me when I got blocked clearly. Now, I really don't like that. So, um, yeah, we didn't come off to a great start in this game. This Car Anthony Towns easily gets past my defender. Another thing that I hate about this gameplay is that, like, when I'm holding the guard button, like, their players seem to easily get around my players, and then nobody steps up to help, and then they get easy dunks. We get a rebound right there. Let's see if we can take it all the way. Spin move, and then, oh, what? That was goaltending, boy. That's another thing that I hate about this gameplay is that, like, they goaltend, bro. Like, that was clearly going in, and then he smacked it. All right, so can we smack that three-pointer? We actually hit that. So we are three for three for three-pointers, which is insane with a power forward. Like, like I said, lefty hit. This dude tried to throw a lobber on me. Boy, you better get out of here with that. So let's see, we're going to hit the um, buzzer beater with our curry so we can come out on top in this head-to-head -head quarter. So we only get the dub by three points, but then again, that's because our gameplay was very laggy, extremely laggy. So yeah, once I get, I'm going to get the Elgato, and hopefully when I get the new Elgato, then the gameplay can be much better. And then I can start doing gameplay live. This is the main reason. This is the main reason why I don't do gameplay live, is because the gameplay is very laggy when I record. And we hit a three, another three with that Dario Saric. So that dude is a monster from beyond the arc. So if you guys do decide to pick him up, he is very, he is pretty cheap to complete. You only need the five award winners, five nominees, and five of the golds. Each of the award winners are probably like 800k. Um, you could probably get it for like 700 maybe. So that's 3.5 mil for that. And then the nominees you can get for 200k each. So 4.5 mil is what he'll cost you. That's a really good price for a 99 overall center of his caliber. He is definitely worth every bit of coins that he goes for right now. So we're down to uh, last minute. We hit a fadeaway shot right there. So yeah, I probably should have went for more mid-range shots because that is his money spot right there. Because every mid-range shot we shot with him, we um, knocked down. Of course, we hit a nice layup again right there. So we're currently up 7-6 to six in this last minute of the game. Can we get a steal right here? No, we not. We got, we had the 97 Ben Wallace guarding that Westbrook. That is a mismatch. Now look at that. They easily get that rebound. And that's the thing I really don't like because none of my players went for it. But look right there. We easily get it in the paint. So yeah, with these 99 overall centers and power forwards, even small forwards, you want to get the ball in the paint as much as possible because they're most likely going to knock it down if they don't get blocked. If they get a chance at the layup, they're going to knock it down. <clears throat> and finally, we miss our first three-pointer. So I believe we knocked down five of them, but missed one. We get a nice block right there. Oh, what was that? Woo! Well, we tried to hit him with the little step back there, but we missed. But good thing Ben Wallace was sitting there to finish up the job. But then this Wester Westbrook gets that. So, yep, we're going to cut the gameplay right there. And I'll hop back into the foot. All right, if you enjoyed that gameplay, as always, drop that like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you definitely subscribe. And as I said before, if you haven't seen my all-rookie pack opening, make sure you definitely check that out. That will be at the end of this video. Just click on it. And, yep, stay tuned for a collab video. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, then you would know who I'm collabing with. But I'm not going to tell you. 
just go ahead and follow follow me on Instagram and take a look at my posts if you haven't entered my 30 million coin giveaway definitely go hit up that video and follow the instructions to enter I'll be choosing winners next Saturday so yep y'all know the slogan screw the haters I'll see you guys later peace out